this is the sloka now we should understand the meaning of the sloka okay it's not enough to cram the sloka the by heart the sloka then <coughs> there is no meaning for it this bhagavad gita is a love letter by krishna so krishna gave this letter so he is our father aham bija pradapita so when our father sends uh, we are all in boarding school now right hostel krishna is in golo grindavan and that is our real home so we have come to, st to study to study what to study this material world how miserable it is like we are come to a college temporary college this material world is like that and we are in a hostel now okay we are away from our uh, father so that father is sending a love letter to you so when you are in hostel now your father will send some letters nowadays all whatsapp and mail and all uh, still those olden days they send letters so that time if you don't understand the meaning of the letter then what is the use so krishna is trying to tell us something what is it let us see so this sloka mainly speaks about shrila prabhupad we'll see how it is okay so what is the meaning of this sloka Yes, uh, Vanshika, can you read the translation? Yes. The thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me. Their lives are fully devoted to my service, and they derive great satisfaction and bliss from always enlightening one another and conversing about me. Yes. So this is what the sloka says. Machita makkada prana bodh yanta parasparam. Krishna says, "The thoughts of my pure devotee dwells means st resides stay in me. Their lives are fully devoted to my service. And what do the devotees do? They have great." satisfaction and bliss means happiness how by enlightening one another and conversing about krishna see now what we are doing when we told about damodar leela when we told about brahma vimohan leela when we spoke about govardhan leela we were feeling so happiness no we'll never find this happiness when we are discussing some movie story about some actor villain or some politics no we won't get this happiness so krishna is saying my pure devotees will always talk about me see when we talk about krishna we feel so happy you know when he steal the butter and everything so krishna is saying the thoughts of my devotees resides in me they are fully devoted and what do they do they talk about me to each other and they feel happy talking about me so that's how that's what shrila prabhupad was shrila prabhupad always talks about krishna always okay there is not even one second in his life where he never wasted only 2 hours he used to sleep only 2 hours okay as children you should sleep for 8 hours not more than that or not less but you should sleep 8 hours and adults can sleep for 6 hours okay not more or less because that is needed for our body but prabhupad was working so hard for all of us he was translating this bhagavad gita from sanskrit to english so and then to different languages so we should use this bhagavad gita in this human form of life what did krishna say machita matgada prana bodayanda parasparam my devotees the thought of my devotees is they always think about me and what do they do bodayanda parasparam parasparam means each other so they talk about krishna each other kadayantascha mam nityam what do they talk kadayantascha mam nityam about krishna krishna's kada they speak tushyanti cha ramanti cha and what do they do they feel happy be talking about krishna i feel really happy talking about krishna if i am sitting here and talk about some politics or something i'll never feel this happiness but talking about krishna we feel very happy right how many times we speak about krishna we feel happy so this is the quality of a devotee krishna says machitta matgada prana bodayanda parasparam kadayantascha mam nityam tushyanti cha ramanti cha okay who else want to try this slogan okay there are so many people i can't give chance to everyone uh, yeah rojlin can you try this sloka Ye yes mata ji mat chita mat gata prana bodayanta param param parasparam bodayanta parasparam bodayanta parasparam kathayanta cha mamnityam very good yes so be careful in learning the pronunciation okay so you should always learn correctly machitta matgada prana bodayanta parasparam kathayantascha kathayantascha 
mam nityam tushyanti cha ramanti cha it's not ka tushyanti cha ramanti cha so this shloka speaks about devotee how a devotee is always thinking about krishna and in purport it's a it's a big purport but i just took took little bit from that okay and um, shri leka can you read what does propa say yes, pure devotee whose character characteristics character text are mentioned here engage themselves fully in the transcendental loving service of the lord devotees of the supreme lord at 24 hours daily in gangada in glorifying the qualities and pastimes of the supreme lord fish cannot live without water yeah so sri leka fish cannot live without water no see Uh, can you can it live without with water if you take a fish and put it outside it will uh, what what will it do it it won't survive it will die right similarly pure devotees they can't stay one moment without thinking of krishna either they chant krishna's name or they hear about bhagavad gita bhagavatam or they see the de- form of de- krishna or they cook for krishna prasad or they dance in krishna's sankirtan or they clean the temple something something they distribute bhagavad gita they take bhagavad gita class 24 hours involved in service so pure devotees it's talking about pure devotees not like us we are all starting we are just below kanishtas there are three levels of devotees kanishta madhyama and uttama adhikari so shrila prabhupad a pure devotees are uttama adhikari in the sense if you see that devotee you feel like chanting when shrila prabhupad when he went to america i told no all hippies all people who were drinking they all were there but the moment they saw prabhupad they all started chanting this is uh, the quality of a pure devotee a pure devotee has krishna in their heart tumhare hridaya sada govinda nivas so they have krishna in them so when we see them we feel like uh, you saw the magnet and this um, iron rods iron pieces the magnet attracts it right similarly we get attracted to a pure devotee so pure devotees always think about serve krishna 24 hours daily they qualify they glorify the qualities and pastimes of the lord like a fish cannot live without water same way okay and the story of prahlad maharaj who was prahlad maharaj he was just 5 years old 5 years old okay boy and how he became a devotee when hirinakashipu is prahlad maharaj's father so this is a story from 7th canto of shrimad bhagavatam i'll just it's a big story i'll make it short so some people already know prahlad maharaj okay was born for through hirinakashipu hirinakashipu was a demon and hirinakashipu's brother is hiranyaksha so vishnu killed hiranyaksha so hirinakashipu his brother became so angry and he went to brahma to do med station so many years he did tapasya to get a boon okay so when he went all the devi dev, devadas indra and Dev, they kidnapped hiranyakashipu's wife kayadu you can see here a pregnant lady so she was pregnant with uh, uh, prahlad okay and they kidnapped her they was about to kill her and the new baby to be born so stopped them you can see here narad muni he is also a pure devotee of krishna so narad muni stopped kayadu uh, indra and all the devas and told what are you doing kayadu is pregnant with a devotee of lord don't take her they thought another asura is in her womb no and narad muni know this and narad muni took kayadu to his ashram and 24 hours he started talking bhagavatam and krishna stories to this pregnant lady that's why when your ma- others are pregnant or when your aunt uncle auntie or uh, somebody your cousins and all are, or some ladies are pregnant we tell them to hear about the lord bhagavatam bhagavad gita ramayan because the child in the womb 7th month 8th month 9th month their consciousness will be awake they can hear okay so prahlad started hearing about the lord and what happened narad muni kept on talking 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 similarly you know when i keep on talking some of you will sleep same way kayad also slept now what happened inside the womb prahlad was hearing he heard and he heard he became a great devotee 
okay and then what when he went to the school there that time he went to an asuric school demon school right so they were talking uh, they were teaching them how to fight that this but during break time lunch break and all prahlad used to call all his friends you can see here all his friends will come and they will talk about krishna this is what is happening machitta matkada prana bodayanda parasparam kadayandascha mam nityam tushyanti cha ramanti cha so they talk about krishna and they feel happy okay when we talk about krishna we feel that anandam okay that's because it's coming from the soul and bhalad used to tell all these people and these kids were thinking how did you learn all this ha huh? we all are sage now how did you learn all this which which extra school are you going similarly when you all go back to school no next next year when the school opens everyone will ask you how did you learn this much so many shlokas from bhagavad gita what is this happened we are all same batch no we didn't have extra class so you all got benefit from learning bhagavad gita same way na uh, prahlad was asked and prahlad told no no my spiritual master is narad muni when i was in the womb of my mother i heard from narad muni so he learned everything and hiranyakashipu was so angry about prahlad but still prahlad never mind all that devotees will never care of for anything because they are fearless this is the quality of a devotee devotee is fearless if we chant hare krishna if we learn bhagavad gita if somebody comes and teases hey what are you doing wasting time we are not fearful we are like ah uh, you uh, you don't mind we are doing the right thing so uh, devotees are fearless and prahlad started dancing and chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare yes can you all sing unmute hare krishna hare krishna hare rama hare rama 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 hare okay yes so this is what uh, prahlad used to do okay so chanting krishna's holy name is also uh, kirtan and uh, ch chanting about or talking about his past, uh, stories is also kirtan but Krish talking about his devotees it is more better see shiva was telling to parvati aradhana nam sarvesham vishnu aradhana param tasmat paradaram devi tadi aradhana param that means you can worship krishna Vish krishna or vishnu that's the highest okay but more than worshiping them you should worship his devotees that's why bhakta prahlad we worship prahlad maharaj when we sing narsimha stuti narsimha we when we uh, pray to narsimha dev a devotee should always pray to narsimha dev narsimha dev will protect you all from all dangers and when we pray we pray to bhakta prahlad he is one of the mahajan 12 great people he is one of them and mahajana yena gadassa pantha we should follow his footsteps what did prahlad say in his teachings um um acharet pratne that means from childhood itself you should start devotional service to krishna he was just 5 years old right so this was prahlad maharaj's life story and when he he believed everything he believed that even in the pillar there is god right when uh, kirinakeshbu asked uh, is your god in this pillar he told yes and to prove the devotee's words uh, uh, krishna appeared as narasimha dev and uh, and uh, when he appeared half lion half man kirinakeshbu um, could not believe he thought who is this what is this standing in front of me he could not see but a devotee could see the lord even in the stone so this is the difference when you go to vrindavan when you see govardhan many won't believe it they think it's a rock they climb on top of it they take selfie they don't know it we feel bad when we see that the govardhan is similar to krishna he is god he is krishna himself govardhan so we should not step on govardhan when we go there it's a sin we are stepping on god so some people they don't know that okay Uh, prahlad was like this prahlad is a pure devotee of krishna he always chanted krishna's name and how all uh, hiranyakashipu tried to kill prahlad you know uh, that day i was uh, telling some stories vedant you remember how all uh, hiranyakashipu tried killing uh, prahlad yes mata ji yeah can you tell two three uh he first like uh, he he tried to kill him uh, near the elephants like he put him on the ah, 
Yes. He put all the elephants there so that they can step on him. Mm. Then, uh, then after that, he was also thrown into a snake pit. Yes. Snake Poisonous pit. snakes. Yes. And then, then uh, he was also thrown above from a 